Let's talk about one of the best words when it comes to describing a wavy curly wash day. Plop. 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 All right, now that you're thoroughly tired of hearing the word plop, we're gonna talk more about it. So the reason I'm making this video is that a long time ago, I originally made a plopping video talking about several different ways to plop wavy curly hair. But since that time, it seems that we've kind of gotten some semantics twisted. And when I am describing the method and technique I'm using to plop my hair, there's a little bit of confusion. So we're going to cover not one, not two, but six different ways to plop your hair. But first off, let's talk about what plopping is. <laughs> plopping is what you do right after you are done washing, conditioning, and styling your wavy curly hair. It is usually the time where you start removing some of the excess water from your hair and the drying process has begun. So these are just different ways to kind of start drying your hair because when we start taking really good care of our waves and curls, we no longer use a terry cloth towel and put our hair up in a turban like so to dry our hair. The terry cloth causes way too much friction, roughening up the hair cuticle and while the hair's wet, potentially damaging it. Also keep in mind, I am talking about six different ways to plop your hair, but there are many, many more and finding the right method for you is kind of like finding the right pair of jeans. You got to try on a lot of pairs before you find your fit. So this is just meant to be helpful to you. It's meant to give you more information to make your life easier. Perhaps you've been using one method of plopping your hair that isn't best suited for your hair type. So there we go. If you want to hang out with me some more, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell. Also, if this video is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and share it. It really does help me out. And it lets me know that the video accomplished its purpose. My whole reason for being here is to be as helpful as humanly possible. So let me know if I was helpful. <laughs> all right, before I get into showing you all the different methods of plopping hair, let's talk about what's going on with my hair right now. This is what my hair looks like washed, conditioned, and air dried. Absolutely no product in my hair, not even leave-in. <gasps> I know. I don't usually recommend going without a leave-in conditioner in your hair, even if you're planning on going completely product-free, but my hair was needing nothing on it. So <laughs> my hair is very prone to being over-moisturized, over-conditioned, so that's why I didn't do a leave-in, but do not recommend. Even if you are going product-free, use a leave-in. Okay, cool. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> wow. But also, this is my hair with no plopping whatsoever. Just cleansed, conditioned, and air dried. Let me turn around and show you exactly what it's looking like without plopping. It is a very humid day here in Texas. We got spring showers. Hopefully it'll bring some May flowers. And because there's so much humidity in the air, my hair is having a lot more wave and bend to it than it does sometimes when I air dry and go product free. But I thought it would be fun to compare no plopping product free hair, no product interfering with how the results come out and hair that has been plopped and diffused product free. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hair and I'll be right back to show you all the ways to plop your hair. All right, I'm cheating a little bit because 
I'm already doing the first method of plopping that I want to show y'all. This is called wet plopping. This method of plopping is really magical and really good. And I don't think enough people try it out. So <laughs> I'm dripping all over myself. I did not put this on very well. It's going down my neck. But what I did is I shampooed my hair, did a really good thorough squish to condition where I really spent some time giving my hair some good hydration and love. Then I thoroughly rinsed out my conditioner, gave my hair another good scrunch like I normally do. And all I did was to tuck and put my hair up into this shower cap. This method of plopping does kind of gently scrunch and hold your waves and curls in place while not removing any of the water from your hair. If you have really, really high porosity hair, if you find that your hair and curl clumps really break up very easily and you get a lot of wet frizz, when plopping or you are within the first six months of starting to wear your waves and curls on your healthy hair journey, I highly recommend this method of plopping your hair. It gives your hair time to really soak up all of your leave-in conditioner, your stylers, and it allows your curl clumps to get really big and juicy. Now, there are some downfalls to this method of plopping your hair, and that is that your hair will take forever to dry because you are not removing any of the water from your hair. Now, if your diffuse time tends to be really, really short, let's say you have really low density hair or very high porosity hair, you may not find that the increased diffuse time is an inconvenience to you. But if you have very, very long, high density, thick hair, this might just make your wash days a marathon. It might just make your wash days a marathon. If you find that product really wants to sit on top of your hair and not absorb into your hair, you might also try this, giving your hair just a little bit more time to soak up leave-in and stylers is amazing. Now, I personally cannot take off the wet plop and go into diffusing my hair. There's just no way. It would be a drippy, wet, mess. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would fry my hair dryer, my diffuser, because there would just be water going everywhere. So I'm going to show you how I put on this plop, and then I'm going to show you the next step that I use on days when I choose to wet plop my hair. I choose to still wet plop my hair on days when I really want to encourage some serious curl clumpage. Okay? Cool. All right, let me show you how I do this. Come down here. Here we go. So after I am done shampooing, conditioning, and applying stylers, I grab, this is a reusable shower cap I got in a gift set eons ago, but you could use any plastic shower cap. Reusable shower cap, plastic shower cap. I'll have several linked in the description down below for you to check out. What I like to do is start on one side and then gently gather on the other. And there you have it. Sometimes I will push it up so that my ears are out. Now, let's say I've let this wet plop sit on my head for about 10, to 20 minutes. That's about the sweet spot for allowing my hair to soak up all the stylers and leave in conditionery goodness. It also allows me to get out of the bathtub or shower and get dressed, maybe wash my face. I really like washing my face after I apply all my stylers because sometimes there's some ingredients that are really good for my hair in my hair care, but it's not good for my sensitive face and it breaks me out. So if I wash my face while I'm plopping my hair, that's a good thing. This allows me to do that 
and today it's extra drippy. It's not normally this drippy, but get dressed, wash my face, then I can go into diffusing. All right, this is what I do next. Once I'm ready to diffuse my hair, on a day that I have wet plopped, I will do something that has been called a micro plop. Basically, this is just scrunching your hair with a microfiber towel or t-shirt to remove some of the excess water. This is actually a scrunching towel from The Perfect Hair Care. I don't personally love microfiber towels that you get, like that dry your car or that you use for cleaning because they grab and cling to every single dry flake on my hand. And I'm thinking if it's doing that to my hand, it's gonna be grabbing and clinging to every little lifted hair cuticle on my hair. So for me, I prefer a microfiber towel that's really, really smooth, that feels like t-shirt material, but also has the absorbency of microfiber. That's why I like these. Okay, micro plop. You gently scoop and scrunch. There's no pulsing. There's no violent scrunching happening. It's just very, very gentle. Think wringing the water out of your hair. This method worked really, really, really well for me when my hair was in transition and I did not have really good curl memory in my hair. Micro plopping worked way better than the traditional dry plopping, which I'm about to show you. So that is micro plopping. I'm keeping all my hair forward so my wet hair doesn't touch my shirt, but let me show you the next method of plopping. All right, this next method of plopping is what I like to call traditional plopping or dry plopping, meaning that you are using a dry piece of fabric to dry your hair a little bit. This method is where we're going to be removing some of the water from our hair. Some people say dry plopping is where you plop your hair when it's 100% dry. Sometimes I call this dry plopping to distinguish it from wet plopping. Some people call all of this wet plopping because our hair is wet. Anyway, I'm explaining the semantics that I use, the terms that I use, so hopefully I don't confuse people. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to do a plop with a cotton t-shirt. This is actually one that I stole from my husband. Shh, don't tell him. It's okay, he doesn't watch my videos. I have got the neck hole on this side, got the sleeves on the opposite side from me. I'm going to fold up one side and I like to fold down the neck just a bit. Then I take all my hair, take it forward, and plop it into the shirt. This, then I'm going to fold up the back, keep everything nice and tight, and tie the sleeves here in the front. and this will gently remove some of the water from my hair. I don't use this particular method anymore because I actually like using the Perfect Hair Care Towel. I will explain that more later. But this can be one of the most cost-effective ways to start embracing your waves and curls. You don't have to run out and purchase anything. You just grab something that's already in your closet. So, there you go. That's one way to dry plop your hair. Now I'm gonna show you another. Now this is the perfect hair care towel. It's a microfiber towel. I've had this for a year, year and a half, maybe longer. <laughs> and they wash and wear beautifully. They're very gentle. I travel with these. Life is a very good, good. Life is very good when I use this. So let's say for whatever reason, you didn't purchase this particular towel that has the closure. I'm going to show you one way to plop your hair. There are also other towels out there that don't have this kind of closure, 
but that are the same giant rectangular shape. So what I do, I plop my hair in the middle, gather up the back, then I gather up the front, grab two pigtails, twist, and tie. That's one way to plop your hair, but I'm going to show you my last and my most favorite way to plop my hair. Now that my hair is out of transition, I find that my curl clumps and curl families are a little bit more resilient. They're not constantly trying to break apart, so I don't always wet plop and micro plop anymore because my hair will stay together a little bit better. So here is Courtney's certified favorite way to plop waves and curls. I put the towel out in front of me like so. I have this little closure away from me. I plop my hair. Eh, hold on, let's make sure that's in the middle. There we go. I plop my hair right in the middle. Then I grab the closure and put the closure at the nape of my neck. Then I really pinch everything right here in front on my forehead. And then I just grab all the excess fabric right there in front. Give myself a nice twist so I look like a unicorn. Then I tuck everything, the excess, in this back part right here. There are other ways of tying this towel, but this is my favorite. The reason I like doing it this way so much is I feel like it doesn't really crush my hair to the top of my head. There's some room up here for the curls to have their shape while also really drying my hair well. So anyway, there you have it. There are several different methods of plopping your hair. The one that I haven't showed you today is net plopping, simply because I don't have any fishnet hose. But you basically plop your hair in some fishnets and allow your hair to dry that way. It really holds your hair in place and also has really good air circulation because it's fishnet hose. So yeah. There you go. I'm going to let this sit on my head for about 10 to 20 minutes. If I plop my hair too long, I find that it creates some wonky curls. If you're prone to wonky waves and curls, don't leave this on too long. Also, I personally don't recommend plopping your hair like this overnight while it's damp because warm, moist, dark environments are breeding grounds for nasties, buggies, fungus, bacteria, that kind of thing. You can sleep with your hair wet and in the plop if you want to. I just personally am not going to do that. So there you go. All right, I'm going to let this sit for 10 to 20 minutes, diffuse my hair, and I will be back to show you the difference between unplopped hair with no product in it and hair that has been plopped to see if there's a big difference. All right, here we are. Here's my hair, 100% dry after plopping. And honestly, I didn't even diffuse all that much. I realized that I air dried my product-free hair at the beginning of the video, so it wouldn't be completely fair if I showed up with plopped and diffused hair. So I did air dry most of the way. I just hit it with the diffuser for like a little bit to finish up the drying but anyway here are my results with my hair dry and out of the plop and diffuse and all that stuff pretty big difference huh 
crazy how much a small change in technique can yield such big changes in results. For me, a dry plop is when your hair is soaking wet and you're using something like a t-shirt or microfiber towel to slightly dry it. That's my version of a dry plop. And a wet plop, in my mind, is when you are not removing any of the water, you have soaking wet hair, and you're using a shower cap to plop your hair. Micro plop is when you gently scrunch out or wring out the excess water from your hair. And as demonstrated by this video, there is a big, big difference between not plopping your hair and plopping your hair. All right, guys, I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye! And yes, there really isn't any product in my hair. How wild is that? I was not expecting the difference to be that big. All right.